so far, uh, people have observed the curfew because they know the curfew has been instrumental in curbing the spread of COVID-19 uh, in the country. And uh, of course, people are quite happy about the easing of the removal of uh, restrictions on movement in Kilifi and Kuale. And we want to thank the people there for their discipline during the restriction of movement. They were able to observe the rules that government had put in place, respected the roadblocks, you know, respected the curfew, uh, social distancing rules, and that's why infections in those two counties have been uh, minimal, minimal. And um, we now hope that Mombasa, um, because of the extension, will also be able to come to that point where the infections will plateau and drop. Um, and it, it, it largely is looking like we are getting there because uh, the numbers seem to be plateauing. And I think that's a, a great, a great effort on the part of the people of Mombasa. The, the burden was heavy, but it's easy, and we are very glad about that. So overall, I think we are doing pretty well, and we hope that uh, people will keep maintaining the respect they have had for uh, government directives with regards to dealing with COVID-19 uh, infections, particularly the social distancing requirement in all public places, the wearing of masks in all public places, um, you know, uh, the avoidance of crowding, and of course uh, meetings from the relevant offices to enable them to cross over to the other side so that we can truly, truly go by the government directive on keeping Mombasa, you know, restricted. The time when they will open, trying as much as possible to have their workers tested, you know, to know the, the COVID status of their employees, and also to ensure that um, the, the way the hotel or restaurant is structured uh, meets the requirements of the Ministry of Health as directed. So we hope that uh, by the time uh, we open the economy, I think they'll be ready to receive their, vast, their, their first guests and, and uh, those guests should know that they're in an environment where they will not get infected, so that uh, as they enjoy their stay, they are pretty sure that they are in very safe hands. Okay, Lunga Lunga and Taveta borders, we still have a, a situation where um, uh, our trucks are not crossing over <coughs> and Tanzanian trucks are not coming in. I think uh, is a situation that government is uh, determined to improve because uh, I think uh, our neighbor has not been able to accept our certificates and they would want us to accept their certificates uh, even though they may not have been uh, certificates that are integral to fighting, uh, you know, the COVID-19 uh, disease. So I think government is uh, addressing that and we hope that soon the situation will come back to normal. But we still insist that anybody coming to the country should be uh, COVID-free. Uh, if, if the test indicates that this person is uh, not COVID-free, then it doesn't cross into our... And, and uh, the occasional wedding. Uh, people should re restrict themselves to the 15. And those who uh, want to leave Mombasa because it's mandatory for them to do so, they should follow the normal protocol. They should obtain uh, the COVID-15 uh, certificate to indicate that they have been tested and they are free, uh, especially truck drivers. They should ensure that they have their certificate uh, 48 hours before uh, they start the journey. 
otherwise uh, they will be exporting uh, infections to the other parts of the country and we will not allow that so anybody should not go to the to the roadblock to argue with the police officers there the only argument we will uh, accept is a, a covid free certificate from our medical personnel any other argument will not be tolerated and i think that should be the protocol going forward uh, we have mainstreamed that and it should remain so um, for everyone for everyone who must go past that roadblock um, those who want to leave mombasa to other counties like lifi and and uh, and, and uh, kwale they should know that um, it's only those who must go those who are in essential services and those who are in dire uh, circumstances that will compel them to go, but then they need to get approval, uh, the necessary approvals from the relevant offices to enable them to cross over to the other side so that we can truly, truly go by the government directive on keeping Mombasa, you know, restricted. The time when they will open, test that anybody coming to the country should be uh, COVID free. Uh, if if the test indicates that this person is uh, not COVID free, then he doesn't cross into our, our our region. He stays out, stays in in the neighboring country until he gets a COVID free certificate. I think that is the standard, and we will maintain that. Sababu. <laughs> 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 